Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to make some high quality scans just using your phone. So I've already done my work on the problem set, I've written up the answers on paper, and I'm going to submit them on Blackboard, but I need to, the last question asked me to make some scans. So I started out going on the App Store and I found Adobe Scan, it's free. So there's a whole bunch of other options like this scanner here, but Adobe Scan is free. I downloaded it, so I'm going to open it up now. Give me some welcome message and garbage. I don't really care. So now it says, let's go. It's going to need access to my camera. So I'm going to say, OK. It also wants to notify me. I don't really want to be notified, so I don't care. You have to sign into some accounts. So I'm already signed into my Adobe account here. It's going to upload the PDF to that account. But you can also email it to yourself. And I'll demonstrate that at the end. So I'm in camera mode here. I'm going to go over my work here. That's the back page. Here's the front page. You might have many pages and you can do as many as you want with this. It'll bind them all together as a PDF. This is not going to yield a very good scan because it's so far zoomed in. Now if I go way, way out, that's probably not good either. But if you just hover over the page like this and then tap, tell it it's ready, it's going to go and find the edges of the document. It's going to capture it. And now it's going to automatically figure out where the uh, edges are and just crop out all that junk on the edge that nobody really wants to see and that's useless, right? So I'm just going to click continue. That looked good to me. I don't think I need to manually update it. I'm going to flip my document over to get the second page. It's looking, it's looking, it found it. I'm holding steady. Now it's processing page number two. Looks like it did a good job cropping off the junk on the edge. So now we're good. Uh, that's not important. So now I can click or touch in the bottom right, say I'm done, I just want those two pages. Just want those two pages. Now I want to look at them, make sure they're legible. I think it automatically puts them in black and white. So I'm going to look at them, make sure they're legible, zoom in. Yeah, I can read this. And if I can read it, probably someone else who I uploaded it to can read it. If you can't read it, it's illegible, then it's pointless uploading it. If you can't read it, no one else can. So uh, what's the point? So I'll look at page one, look at page two, have this nice uh, supply and demand graph. I can read that, looks fantastic. I could give it a new name, like maybe a P set one, whoops, misspelled it, maybe P set one, maybe I could call it white P set one, use my last name, make that clear, but who cares, right? We can always change that later. I'm going to go ahead and put save here so that it saves it and it automatically uploads it to some Adobe account. It's also going to put it through this character recognition system, try to figure out what these letters are, like the AX, B, C, 5X. I think it will probably be able to read this one because the handwriting was pretty good and artificial. I made this as a test case, but that's not actually important. These will all be read by people, so you don't need Adobe to be able to read it. Uh, I could now go to that Adobe online file or whatever, but I'm going to share this with myself by, uh, I could share a link or I could like email it to myself, email myself a link. So here I've uh, made the link. I'm going to type in my own email so that I have easy access to this, and then I can go on my computer and download the file and upload it real easily. So this took three minutes, uh, although we went really slow and we had to download the app. So in practice, it'll actually take you one minute probably at most. So this is pretty easy. It's a good uh, thing to know about, and I'm glad that you were with me on this tutorial today. Thanks for watching.